Hello and welcome to Camera Reviews. Immediately when I saw this book, I bought it. I was very intrigued by the title, Pig's Disco. I was very intrigued by Stuart Griffiths' work. And I thought it was an interesting concept I wanted to explore. It's an interesting book. It's about Stuart's time in a parachute regiment serving in Northern Ireland. An intense period, especially for a 16 year old. That's when Stuart started taking photographs. I think it was 16, disposable camera. I'm interested to know why all of a sudden you're a 16 year old in Northern Ireland, in the army, in the parachute regiment, hell of a, an achievement for a 16 year old to be serving in the parachute regiment. But actually to start, what made you, what made him, or what makes you start documenting that? What are you trying to say? And unbelievable. Stuart's a great photographer and I saw, I think it's a romantic way to start it. Stuart might disagree because I know he saw a lot, been through a lot, experienced a lot. And I know his mates have, and I know he's right in there on the thick of stuff. And he's got far more bottle than most people I know. But I just wanted to find out a little bit more. I, there is a lot of text in here. This book, I don't even know if you can get it anymore. Uh, you need to, if you want to buy it, you need to look out for it. I bought it immediately um, when, he, when, it, when it came out. It's a fascinating read, it's a fascinating insight. I'm going to show you a bit, of a bit of it. I'm not going to show you too much of the text. I don't want to infringe on any copyrights. But I just want to introduce you to Stuart. You can, I'm going to put a link for Stuart's work um, below. It was published by Ditto Press. Um, check out Stuart's work, a very interesting guy. I do like his work a lot and I, and I, and I want to support him um, and I want to make you aware of this book. He has other books, check him out. So, what we've got, case bound book, I think it's case bound, um, hardback, about six inches by eight and a half inches, nice, and it? lovely textured and um, imprinted white um, title, which I like. Uh, Pigs Discos was the name of their monthly parties where they invited the locals, girls, into the um, into the, I, I'm not sure where the barracks, I presume, um, to have a party and they let loose. And um, it's a sort of derogative name, I guess, but um, that's what it's about. So, so, like I said, we shot on a disposable camera. I think I'll just let you look at that for a little bit. I love that. Um, I will also put a link for Ditto Press as well, and some of their work, and I'm just letting you look at that for a bit. It's mind blowing. So, here we go. Uh, 2013, it's published. Uh, Dettopress.co.uk, typeset in Greta. Um, oh, here we go. So that's a picture of Stuart, uh, um, obviously a sketch. And here's some of the stories. What's this called? We're sitting in Afi. Okay, so there's a regiment, parachute training school shop. Some of the boys, I think a good contrast. Um, some images here. Now, you remember this is. It's quite grainy, and I presume this is just stuff on the, the, the throwaway camera. You know, I guess it's a sort of side of life we never see. Even though now, I think, with the press, has a much more... Uh, we have a much more open access to army life, and now with, with the media and with contractual arrangements with army and, and media suppliers and stuff like that. But in these times, and in what Stuart's trying to say with a lot of these pictures, we never saw any of this, and, and, and I think this is an interesting perspective from a young guy um, and his lifestyle in a country where, which was racked with, with turmoil, really, and, 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 and in war, in a sense, or at, at war, and finding himself over there um, as a British soldier, feeling alienated. But I think also feeling alienated mentally as well, you know, and, and, and having these group of guys to rely on for their life and to just rely on for company and psychological aspects as well. 
and it's a sort of side you'd never see and I, and I find it quite intriguing and it's quite a unique insight I'm, I'm interested to know what at the time Stuart was thinking when he picked up a camera and why he all of a sudden just started to document his life I was trying to say something And you know, I don't think these images are saying too much. I think it's a snapshot, but it's very intriguing. Oops, something just fell out there. I've got a bookmark. I presume that's a rave, as I know the whole books, uh, uh, the whole period of Stuart's documentary, documentation of soldier life has a lot to do with drugs and alcohol and brutality in, in, um, in many forms, like being a soldier, being a victim of being mugged and robbed himself while working on these things. And, um, and I, I think what we have to respect well, and I'm saying this without any political stance. I'm just saying what I was about to say with a total neutral in terms of my opinion is that a lot of these boys and what they faced after this um, lifestyle of being a soldier, being young, filled with drugs, alcohol, and 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 sort of a sort of lifestyle which some of us will never, never experience um, and how they adjusted or didn't adjust into back into civvy life, as I call it. So, you know, total respect to Stuart and thank you for putting a book together like this and um, it's very intriguing. Check out some more Stuart's work. I'll leave a link um, for his work and a link for Ditto Press. Thank you.